What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Talonflame and Karylon team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Talonflame, this bird is one of my favorite regional birds in all of Pokemon. Not just because it's good competitively, but because its design is absolutely amazing. It's a fire bird. What more could you guys want? Now, Talonflame rocks Gale Wings as its ability, a solid ability making this Pokemon very viable in rank. Whenever this Pokemon is at full HP, any flying type move becomes first turn priority. So we're going to be pairing this ability up with Tailwind to actually set that move with ease. Talonflame's got the Focus Ash with the Ghost Terror type, Rocket Tailwind, Flare Blitz, U-Turn, and Protect. A very solid move set for Talonflame. Now, like I said, our restricted Pokemon on today's team is going to be Coridon. Coridon rocks or Calcum Pulse, sets to hard sunlight, going to help out Talonflame do big time damage with Flare Blitz. Furthermore, Coridon's got the clear amulet with flame charge, collision course, flare blitz, protect, and obviously that fire terror type. We have another off meta Pokemon on today's team, rocking out with Umbreon. I know a lot of you guys like Umbreon, including myself. This Umbreon's got Synchronize, Grassy Seed to pair up with Rillaboom, Taunt, Snarl, Foul Plate, and Yawn. Really do like this moveset for this Umbreon. Our final three Pokemon feature Gastrodon, Rillaboom, and Frigoraph. Frigoraph is there to counter Trick Room and be a nice little support Pokemon, and Gastrodon and Rillaboom are there for a nice big time Kyogre counter. Guys, if you want to run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Talon Flame team. We're hopping into our first match and we are going up against Asama Z the team. Now, before we get started here, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Kev. Kev, thank you so much for making this team and being a longtime viewer of the channel. Thanks again for supporting me. But um, we're going up against a Pelipper Zamazenta team with Raichu, Urshifu, Shen Pao, and Incineroar. Pretty decent team. I've been seeing this kind of across the meta, so we're going to have to play up against it. Uh, they could have Fake Out with Raichu, and they could potentially lead Raichu, but I feel as going into our Town Flame is going to be solid for us. Um, another Pokemon that I do like here is going to be my Coridon, but they could just swap into Pelipper, which could be kind of tough on our end, right? Pelipper could be tough on our end. Um... So who do I want to go into here? Gastrodon could be pretty good. Could maybe lead Gastrodon. Hmm. I do like Gastro here. I do like Gastro. So I'm going to end up actually leading Gastrodon. They want to bring out the rain. They can bring out the rain. I just like it all around. And I'm going to bring Karadon in the back end. And last but not least, who should I go? Maybe Villaboom here. Hmm. <clears throat> could maybe just go with like a slower team. Maybe just pop Trick Room. So instead of Talonflame, honestly, let's just go in the free ref here. And then bring Karadon in the back end with Rillaboom. I like that the best. I do like that the best. So that is exactly what we're going to do here. Match number one, we're not bringing Talonflame. It just seems like a bad situation for him, right? Especially because we want to bring in Karadon too. We don't want them both because then they could just counter our weather with Pelipper. And kind of just screw me over. So Talonflame, you're not coming in match number one. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. So let's see who they end up going into here. They're going to go into Incineroar. And go into Zamazena. So we have our ability. No fake out is allowed. Um, chances are they want to go for an iron defense here. Right? Makes the most sense. I could Terrasilize and pop Trick Room. Probably be my best interest. Probably be my best interest. So from here, honestly, I could just yawn Zamazenta. But I'm just going to rip an Earth Power. Your special defense is kind of lower, and I'm just going to pop a Trick Room. With a Terra Ground. With a Terra Ground. Let's not forget to Terrasilize into Ground. Just so Knockoff doesn't do a ridiculous amount of damage into me and KO me. That's going to be my play. That is going to be the Gene's play. So we're just throwing Earth Power into this slot. We're going to throw in the ground. We can double down in some in the next turn if we need to. But I just think getting off some damage right here right now is probably in our best interest. So the ground terror pops out here. Usually you see Fairy, but I'll take ground. I mean, ground actually works fine here. They're going to go for a Fake Out, which is totally fine by me. Waste a turn for you. And he's going to go for an Iron Defense, which is totally fine by me. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I get off a free Earth Power. Bop. Decent damage. I'm going to now pop a Trick Room. And now I'm going to double down in Zamazenta. Now I'm doubling down in Zamazenta. Getting right after him. I think I'm playing around. We're going to go Earth Power and Terror Blast. And Terror Blast. Doubling right down into this thing. You could protect, but a lot of Zamazenta's eyes, at least the Zamazenta's that I've seen, don't rock protect. They just don't do it. So they withdraw Incineroar. If they don't touch Zom's Zeta, this thing's just dead. They're going to go into Pelipper. Pelipper! You can't go into any water moves into my boy. I got Storm Drink Ash now, which is great. It's lovely. I mean, he's going to get started here. Protects can come out from Zom's Zeta, and I might just stick with doubling down into it. 
right? Might just have to double down into it, because I doubt he wants to swap, right? I doubt he wants to swap. Because if you swap, who are you going to go into? You have Incineroar, and who could be your last Pokemon? Let's check this before we double down again. Who could your last Pokemon be? Raichu? Nah, that's dead. Shen Pao would be dead. Urshifu? Maybe, but Urshifu could still take big da big time damage. So we're just going to stick with doubling down in this Amazentum. Going right after it. Plus, I don't think they want to swap out Zamazenta being plus two in defense. I really don't. I really don't see that happening. So out comes the Terra. That's a good play for them. Time, what kind of Terra type you got here? What you got cooking here? Okay, a little bit of water action. A little bit of water action in the rain. Not bad. I mean, you can't go for any water moves, which is good, good news for us. Earth power, we're going to fly. How much damage are we doing? Minimal. That's some minimal damage. The Terra Blast is going to fly here. Now, how much damage is Terra Blast doing? Get after Terra Blast. Minimal, right? Yeah, minimal. Hurricane's gonna fire. They're probably doubling down to Gashon, which is a little tough news for us, right? No, they're gonna go after Frigis here. Which Friggy actually dies to a crit. That's actually really annoying. That's really annoying. But now I can bring out Rillaboom. Now I can bring out Rillaboom, which is actually pretty good for us. So I'm gonna get some leftovers HP. Um We gotta start getting off some damage. And Rillaboom's going to be in our best interest. So if I can waste out Trick Room here and just start teeing off on a few of these Pokemon, I really like a Crydon in the back end. The Grassy Surge is going to come out here. I can fake out whoever I want. Um, they could intimidate me, which could be a little bit of a problem. But I think from here, we just drop an Ice Beam in that slot. And I think Zamacenta is going to protect, if anything. So honestly, I'm just going to double down into Pelipper here. Actually, we'll just fake out Pelipper. We'll just fake out Pelipper. Pelipper protects. Are you double protecting? You gotta be double protecting. Okay, they're double protecting. All right, that's fine. So they double protect, waste out another turn of Trick Room. Um, I mean, I'm just going after Pelipper. I'd rather Grassy Glide here, but I think they're gonna swap Zamazenta, right? It just makes the most sense to swap Zamazenta, but I might double down to Pelipper here. I might just double down to Pelipper here. So now my Gastron actually gets back a nice chunk of HP. Grassy Surge and Leftovers, not bad. Not bad at all. The real question is, do I attack that Zamazenta? I really want to. I really want to. But I think they swap it. I really do I really do think they swap it. I'm going to double down to Pelipper. I really think you swap Zamazenta. I really do. I'm going to Woodhammer. I'm going to go into Gastron. And he's going to try for double protect at least. That's fine. We're doubling down to Pelipper. Ice Beam gonna fly. My Rillaboom, I think, is slower or should be faster in Trick Room, correct? No, it's not. And Hurricane probably just can KO me. Can you survive this? You do. I love you, Rillaboom. I hate you, Rillaboom. Please, Rillaboom. Land this Woodhammer. Don't die to ducks. Do not die to ducks. I love you, Rillaboom. <laughs> Alright, so we get rid of Pelipper. That's good. That's good news for us. Um, Trick Room should be ending rather soon. Which is good news for us. Or kind of good news, kind of bad. I mean, Gastron's really going to thrive out here in Trick Room. Um, and Zamazenta could just protect here. So everybody's getting back some HP. Um, we have Clear Admit, which is good. And I know they have Incineroar. Who can just fake me out, right? So Twisted Dimension goes back to normal. We are now going to go into Coridon, who they can't change weather back for, which is actually kind of nice for us. Actually, kind of nice for us. I am scared of the body press, actually. And they're going to go back into Incineroar, who they could just start spamming fake outs for. They could just start spamming fake outs. Um, I don't want to play this. How do I want to play this? I could yawn. I could yawn here, which is actually pretty good for us. And then just protect the other, other guy. Or I can just start hitting this thing with Earth Power. I think I'd rather yawn. And then just protect you. To be honest. I think the fake out's gonna fly in this slot. And they might even double down to Crydon. Let's see. Yep, there's a fake out at least. Double down to Crydon. Go for body pressing this thing. Go for body pressing to Crydon. Now you're going for Behemoth Bash, which is actually fine. Gastrodon soaks that no problem. Gastrodon soaks that no problem. So Yawn's gonna fly here. Beautiful. This thing's either going to sleep or. Or it's swapping. Which I'd honestly rather it swap. I honestly rather this thing swap. So from here, we know Collision Course will take out Incineroar, so I'm just going to send it that way. 
And I'm just gonna throw an Earth Power in this slot, just trying to keep doing constant damage to that thing. Actually, will Collision Course KO? It should. It should, right? Yeah, Collision Course is gonna fire. This should finish him off. The Harsh Sunlight is out and about, which is good news for us. And we say bye bye to Incineroar. So, this is a solid match so far. This is real solid. I wonder if he's gonna go for a body press. Now, the real question is can I soak up a body press? I don't. Are you serious? This thing is so broken. It's so broken. It's so broken, it's absurd. Another Earth Power will KO Zamasenta, which is good news. We do get a special defense drop, too. So, can Gastro not clutch up is the real question. Can my boy Gastro clutch up? Who's your final Pokemon? Is it Water Urshifu? That would actually be kind of nice. Because Zamazenta's asleep. Can Gastro clutch up? Who you got here? Is it Urshifu? Who you got? Is it Raichu, maybe? It's Shen Pao. Now, Shen Pao. Hmm, Shen Pao kind of annoying. Not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. Um, I think I have to get rid of... Mm, I think I have to get rid of Zamazenta. I really do. I'm going to go after Zamazenta here. I'm going to just make sure Zamazenta dies. Yes, I was going to say, I kind of hope Shen Pao could protect the turn. I was going to say, maybe it protects either... Turn one, turn two. I have to get rid of Zamazent. So this is a big turn for us to actually just get rid of this Pokemon. So now I'm gonna yawn into this uh, Shen Pao and then just protect. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. That's a big time. That's a big mistake from our opponent to protect there. Especially because you're probably Focus Ash as well. I get back some HP. We love it. Grass disappears. I'm back up to full HP. I'm back up to full HP. So now we're gonna spam yawn into this uh, Shen Pao. He's going to go for an Iso Crash, which better not make me flinch. Doesn't even do half, and it doesn't make me flinch. Let's go, because now I'm just going to protect this turn, get back Leftovers HP, have this thing go to sleep, and just start spamming Earth Powers, right? Massive. That's massive. That Protect, big mistake. Big mistake. And honestly, we still would have had a shot at win this match, because two Icicle Crashes were not KOing me. Two Icicle Crashes were not KOing me. The Astrodon was able to soak up two. So honestly, even if it didn't protect, we still had a hot shot at winning this game. Unless it has like a one turn sleep, which could have been tough news for us. So out comes the Icicle Crash, we protect, we get leftovers, sunlight is going to fade a little bit. And we're going to say night night to uh, Shen Pao. He took his melatonin. Go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. So we played this one real slow. This is a slow, slow match here. We're playing it pretty well. Earth Power now going to fly. This thing's going to be asleep, so that's his first turn of sleep. We at least need two turns of sleep here, I believe. That does not do half. I get back more leftovers HP, which is just beautiful. It's lovely. We're slowly going up. So hopefully this thing stays asleep. I'd be very upset if it wakes up now. Are you kidding me? We, we, we just lost to one turn sleep. That was, my, that, was my one, that was my one way of losing this game. That was my one way of losing this game. And I flinched. I love this game. I love this game so much. One turn sleep. All right, so... Only way of winning now would be to, like, protect this turn. Have him maybe miss an Icicle Crash. And then put him back to sleep, right? Hit another Yawn. I mean, Icicle Crash actually is kind of low. One turn sleep and a flinch. Come on, man. I, I played that one so well. Just to lose it. I even said it. I said the only way we, we would lose this one would be to a one turn sleep. And what happens? A one turn sleep happens. So now I'm forced to kind of just go into Yawn here and hope that he either misses or we soak this. But I don't think we soak this, so we need him to miss. And he doesn't miss. He's just landing every single Iso Crash. And we lose this game. Welcome to my life, guys. RNG beating me yet again. We should be 1-0, but we are 0-1. Thanks, RNG. One turn sleep? Come on, man. Whenever I'm asleep, I'm asleep for three plus turns every single time. It's just crazy. But Shadow Rider Calyrex here in match number two. Um, now it's a good time to bring out Talonflame. They have Tornadus to set their Tailwind. I can set our Tailwind with our Talonflame. Furthermore, they got Rillaboom. They got Clefairy, Regilecki too. Very fast team. Very fast team. I could maybe just go in the Trick Room again. That wouldn't be bad. But I do want to use Talonflame. So I am going to go Talonflame. And I am going to lead... Could lead Umbreon. I mean, if they're going in special attackers, I'd like Umbreon here. So I'm going to go in Umbreon. I'll bring Karadon in the back end, and last but not least, I do like having Rollboom, especially just for that first turn priority, and that Grassy Glide, right? Can't go wrong with that.
you cannot go wrong with that. So we'll see who they want to lead. Potentially, it is going to be, what is it, uh, Tornadus and Shadow Rider Calyrex. And at that point, I could just protect my Talon Flame, stagger the Tailwind turns, and send the Snarl. That wouldn't be bad. That would not want to be bad for us. It would not. But we'll see what they want to go here. I mean, I could go into the Grassy Terrain too if I want to. But they're going to go Clefairy here. Okay, so Clefairy Calyrex. Um, Follow Me can obviously come out here. But I'm just going to send a Tailwind. I am just going to send a Tailwind. I do not think... Can we outspeed after Tailwind? What's your speed at, Umbreon? No, you're not even going to outspeed him after Tailwind. But I do want to set it up for the squad. So I'm going to go Tailwind here. Send it. And I will just send a Snarl here. Yeah, Snarl is definitely play. We have to lower Calyrex to special attack. Hands down. So we'll see a Terra pop out here. Probably from Calyrex going into Fairy? Question mark, question mark, question mark. For Draining Kiss. Yeah. All right, so he goes into the fairy tower type. Mm, not too bad. Not too bad, not too good. Um, Tailwind is now going to fly. And I think we want to try to taunt the Clefairy too eventually, but let's see what he ends up doing here. Let's going for a Nasty Pot setup. The Nasty Pot setup comes out here. What's Clefairy doing? Are you life doing potentially? Are you life doing, Clefairy? What are you doing here? Very curious. You are life doing. Clefairy's just sitting here letting this Calyrex excel, and it's uh, kind of getting a little weird. We don't really want this here. We really don't want this. Um, From here, honestly, I'm just going to go for a flare. Actually, no. We're just going to protect you. And I'm just going to go into a taunt here. Into the slot. Just so Clefairy can't really do much. And he's going to set up another nice spot, which is fine by me. So we're going to taunt Clefairy. And now might be a good turn for us to just... Go Flare Blitz here? Yeah, we're going to go Flare Blitz and... Whatever Pokemon they swap into, I'm going to just on it. They don't swap, so Flare Blitz is going to fly here. It actually does, like, no damage. Why are you doing no damage? Why are you doing no damage? Why are you doing like negative six damage? Hold up. Let me see something, Talonflame. Let me see your EVs, dude. Let me see your EVs, Talonflame. Come here. Let me see something real quick. Let me see something. Clefairy has no moves. It's gonna struggle out. All right. So Clefairy's struggling out here. Um, let me see, let me, let me see something real quick. Not you. I want to see Talonflame. Okay, no, so your EVs are actually pretty good. Your EVs are actually pretty good. Alright, so actually, I don't mind this. So I'm going to go into Cry down here. I'm going to swap into that. I was going to say, why are you hitting so light? You're hitting real light. We got some speed cooking here, which is just good news for us. And I think now is just a good time for us to just terrestrialize. Um, I think now it's just a great turn for us to terrestrialize. And uh, we you know what? We're just going to double down to Calyrex. Let that thing struggle out. Could Terrasalize Flare Blitz. Get some sp more speed going here. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double down to Calyrex. We could potentially protect, but I'm going into Fire Terror just so we can make sure that this thing actually just dies out. Because now we got the Harsh Sunlight going in here. We're doubling down to Calyrex. we got Tailwind up, out, and about. We're hoping no protects come out here. Clefairy can't do anything. All right. I, 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 I like where we're at. Unless no protects. You don't protect. Cool. So Flame Charge should do a nice chunk of damage here. Not KO, but give us that speed boost and put this thing in KO. In KO distance of this Flare Blitz, right? Flare Blitz in the sun now. Thank you very much. Alright, cool. So obviously, like I said, Flame Charge was not the best move. But we want that speed boost, which works wonders. Uh, but Fairy's out here struggling still. And I gotta remember, Friend Guard is a thing, so Calyrex is taking a little bit less damage than normal. So that kind of does make sense that Flare Blitz is doing that much damage without the sun there. But he's going to shake off Taunt and Tailwind's going to end too. So hopefully Tail or uh, Talonflame still fastest on the field. And it's going to go into Rillaboom here. So Rillaboom can fake out. So Rillaboom actually has a choice here. He's got to fake out somebody or he dies, right? Or you die. Or you die. So I'm going to go for his Tailwind here. Try to set that up again. Um, 
Real question is, who are you faking out? Because we're going for another flame charge just for more speed here. And they cancel battle, which is crazy. So they start off hot with the nasty pots. We KO the Calyrex and they just cancel the match. So guys, our last opponent got greedy. They went for double nasty plot. We ended up taunting the Clefairy. They didn't really know what to do from there. We took out the Calyrex. They were just like, nah, this one's over. And they ended up just canceling the match. So we're one and one, but we're going up against eight Zombies at the team. And we're trying to get our revenge considering we lost the first one in bad RNG fashion. So they go Zamazenta for the lead here. Something I do notice is they do have Pelipper, which annoys me every single time, right? Pelipper's so annoying. I could honestly just go into these two. Which wouldn't be bad. I mean, I could put Zamazet to the sleep with a yawn. I could attack. I can knock off items. I could fake out. I just think that works really solid here for our lead. Especially with the grassy seeds as well. He's going to get a nice little, I believe it's a defense boost. Yeah. He'll get a nice lovely defense boost. That's good for him. Um, Gotta watch out for body press. I do have the water terror type. But I think bringing in Karidon and Talonflame late game. It's just our play. Right? Or do I go Gastrodon? Storm Drain's not bad. Storm Drain's not bad, but I feel like we can have weather control and we can really start getting after it in the end there with both of them. Kind of like how we did with Talonflame and Crydon in that last match. But yeah, that Catlarks is actually really bulky with Clefairy on its side. So the damage does make sense. At first, like, it did so low damage. I was like, I was like is this thing not EV invested into any part of attack? But then I realized it gets a 25% boost, so it would have done about half, maybe even a little bit more than half if, uh, if Clefairy wasn't on the field. But we're going to go into these two. Nice little defense boost for us. Uh, fake out the Zamazenta hands down here. And I think we might just want to foul play into Shen Pao. Start getting after that. Or I could just fake out and taunt Zamazenta, which wouldn't be bad. Taunting that thing, allowing it not to go for any of its really good moves, right? Such as Iron Defense. Or I could yawn it. Um, I only have Grass Terror for you. You know, we're just going to fake out Shen Pao and I'm just going to end up going into a yawn into Zamazenta. That's going to be my play. Chen Pao could go for a Ghost Terror. It is possible, but I'm going to get rid of his Focus Sash too. So there's that. Let's see what you end up doing. Are you going for Body Press Turn 1? You are. And I soaked that. Cool. Thank you, Umbreon. Thank you, Umbreon. So we throw a yawn onto the scene now. I do have Grass Terror if I just want to Thrasalize and maybe try to KO with Grass Guide. That's not a bad play. I'm not going to sit here and lie. That's not a bad play. And I think I'm going to pull it. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm gonna do that and then just simply go into a hard swap, maybe into Talon Flame here. Maybe try to get some speed. I gotta hope that this this KOs. Let me see your EBs real quick, real boom. Because you got grassy seed, grassy terrain out here. Your boost is pretty high in attack. 172 more attack? Come on, man. This boost is pretty well. Hmm. No, if I'm beyond dies, I'm beyond dies. I mean. You know, let's just swap them around. We're gonna go with Talonflame. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So there's the withdrawal of Zamazenta. We now get out Talonflame. Fingers crossed that this grass guy does KO. Really hoping Pelper is gonna fly through here. We get out Talonflame. I could just swap Rollboom next turn too. Into our Karadon, which could be nice. We get rid of our Umbreon. We force him to swap their Zamazenta. Um, Talonflame gonna come out here. So now I got the lovely talent flame. We're hoping. We're hoping Grass Guy can just get the job done here, right? The Focus Hash is off due to that fake out last turn. We got the stab type. We got the terror boost. We got the grassy terrain boost. We got the miracle seed boost. We got four boosts going on here. Can this take out the Shen Pao? I really hope so. I really hope so. My heart, my soul. I so crash is missing though. That's big. We'll take that RNG all day. We will take that RNG all day. So from here, honestly, um, I think Shen Pao potentially protects here. So I'm just going to go for a Tailwind as you maybe go for a Hurricane. And I'm just going to wood hammer down this Pelper slot. Yep, there's Protect. Bang, bang, bang. Good reads on our end. Great reads on our end. Not just good reads. Great reads on our end. So now I get off the Tailwind. My real boom outspeed the Pelper. I'm guessing Shen Pao had, had the Focus Sash. So, Woodhammer should KO this thing if you're not Focus Ash. And you're not. Get it on out my face. Pelipper gone. Now I can bring out what's called, if I want to, Karidon if I want to. Have that sun for the rest of the match. And now I can just grass guy the Shen Pao. Say bye-bye to him. That's big time for us. We love that. We love this. We love this.
That missile circle crash. I feel bad for our opponent. But hey, RNG did me dirty last game. And it was a Shen Pao. Not last game. Our first match. So we're just getting a revenge on Shen Pao's RNG. Cool. That's what the game was doing. The first Shen Pao couldn't miss an ISO crash. So now they're, you know, they're making it up to me by having this Shen Pao miss an ISO crash. So now they go into Zamazenta here. Um, I gotta stick with Grass Guide in this slot. And from here, I'm just gonna protect Talonflame. I'm just gonna simply protect Talonflame. And honestly, I probably shouldn't. I probably should have U-turned Talonflame, to be honest with you. Because if I had to guess, if he's going into anything, it's either he's swapping Shen Pao, going for a Sucker Punch. And honestly, my Robo might outspeed him. But Talonflame's probably not even going to get touched this turn, so... Might have been a bad turn for us. And no, you're just staying in here with Shen Pao. So Shen Pao is gone. That's big time news for us. Um, Zamazenta probably body presses my... He probably sits here and body presses my, yeah, my roll boom. That's why I said going into this turn really didn't help us out here. But now I can honestly just go into Woodhammer and Zombie Sense slot. Or even into this next Pokemon, which is going to be roll boom. So he has Fake Out ready to go. Um, I don't have Brave Bird. I do not have Brave Bird. And honestly, I would love to just go for like a hard swap here or maybe just knock off this thing's item. I'm going to go for knock off here and honestly, let's just sacrifice Umbreon. Let's just sacrifice Umbreon because I would love to just stay at full HP. We'll swap an Umbreon here. If you want to fake out the Robum, you can. I think you fake out the Talonflame more than anything, thinking I have Brave Bird, but I don't. But I don't. So I think they go for the fake out in the Talonflame. We'll sacrifice the Umbreon here, and then we'll get our Weather out. Then we will get our Weather out. Now, something that I honestly forgot is, did you use your Terror type? I got to check after this turn. Honestly, I totally forget. Right now in my mind, they haven't used Terror type. So I'm gonna keep my Town Flame at full HP. I'm gonna keep my Focus Sash more importantly too. And full HP is so good because I got Gale Wings. And there's their Terror type, so that just answers my question. They're gonna Terrasalize Rillaboom. Yep. And what typing are you going into here? Grass. So in the back end, we got we got a little Pokemon named Coridon that could deal with a Grass and Seal type Pokemon. Knockoff's gonna fly. They end up just staying. No fake out. And we get rid of its choice ban, so that's actually nice for us. Body press gonna KO Rillaboom. Probably going for I don't know, Woodhammer here? What are you going for in the town flame slot? That's a good question. What are you going for here? You're gonna go for a wood hammer here. So that's gonna KO me, but you're gonna take a little bit of recoil here. That's fine by me because now I get to bring out the Wombo combo. Mm-hmm. The Wombo combo's coming out here. The Wombo combo is coming out here. So we don't have Tyro, we use it on our Rillaboom. Funny that they use Grass Terra on their Rollboom as well. And the Grass is gone. So, actually, they get no benefits from the Grass Terrain. So, that works out perfectly. So, now I can place Coridon down. I can place Talonflame down. Um, I think Talon is gone. But regardless, I still think we just outspeed. Is that a correct statement? Is that a correct statement? I kind of just want to check our speed just to make sure we outspeed these guys. You can't Grass Glide me. What's your speed at, kind sir? 187. Yeah, there's no point of us popping a Tailwind. We outspeed both of them regardless. So Tailwind, we're not going to waste a turn doing that. Um, honestly, we are just going to go for a collision course into you. Just because I don't want to take recoil damage. And I want that stab boost as well. And I think Flare Blitz on our Talonflame could just get rid of the roll boom. That's going to be my play. That's my play. I still got Focus Ash on Talonflame, which is good. I mean, recoil damage is going to take it off, but... But, if you protect this turn, and then you end up going into, like, I don't even know, like, body press somehow, crits or something, and takes me down to focus dash, we can use it. So, Collision Core is probably not going to pick up a KO here, let's be honest here. This thing's so bulky. I lied. I lied. We, we do pick up a KO. We get rid of Zamazenta. Go home, buddy. And that's game. Alright, cool. So, great way to end today's video. Dump it on a Zamazenta. Town flame by its side. Dump it on the roll boom. We get a crit there just to rub it in. RNG helped us out a little bit with that ice crash, but hey, we needed that from match number one. But we go 2-1 for today's video. Not too bad. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with a 2-1 winning record with this Talonflame off-meta-ish Coridon team. We used Umbreon a good bit, Gastrodon, Grab, and Rillaboom. I feel like everybody got some loving on this team. 
RNG did not help us out in match number one, but it made up for it in the end there in match number three, helping our opponent miss that ISO crash and ultimately giving us the win there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.